here to talk more about this is Dr. Kevin Ban, Chief Medical Officer at Walgreens. Dr. Ban, thank you so much for joining us. What should people know about receiving their booster shot at Walgreens? Well, we've worked really closely with the federal government to make this as easy for people as possible. Uh, so if you got Pfizer uh, uh, as your first vaccine and you're eligible for that booster dose, what we're really encouraging people to do is to go online, schedule that appointment. Uh, you can use our app or you can even call 1-800-WALGREENS. Here's the most important thing too. When you're scheduling that COVID vaccine, make sure you get your flu shot at the same time. It's that time of year and it's really important to do both. Smart and a one-stop shop there. So some pharmacies gave clearance for third doses of Pfizer's vaccine. Can you just kind of highlight the difference between those shots and these boosters? Right. So a third dose is different than a booster. Um, for third doses, and we started delivering those to people in August, uh, those are for people who are immunocompromised. That means their immune system doesn't work in the way that you'd expect, normally because they have a medical condition or because they're taking a medication. For those people, we saw that after the first and second dose with Moderna and Pfizer, they just didn't have the same immunity response. And so they require a third dose. That's very different than this booster program. The, for the booster program, people were vaccinated, they gained immunity, but over the course of time, we saw that that immunity wanes, it becomes less. That's what we expect. And at a certain point, for certain people, you want to make sure that you boost the immune system. And that's the program we're starting right now for Pfizer. We also mentioned a uh, key word earlier, those who are eligible for this opportunity. So how are you managing against people showing up to pharmacies and getting the vaccine booster without vetting their eligibility? Well, we ask people to verify that they are in fact eligible at the time that they schedule the appointment. When you come in, we're encouraging people to bring their vaccination cards so that we can update that. We're going to make them a test again that they in fact eligible. Uh, and, and so, you know, we're really in the business here of trying to increase access to vaccines, but we are going to be sure that people verify that they are in fact eligible. And doctor, I think there's been a lot of confusion around whether or not we can mix and match doses if we've already had different variations of the vaccine. There's no real consensus out there. So what is your guidance around people mixing and matching if they've already had either Moderna or Johnson & Johnson vaccines? So the federal government, the CDC, has been very, very specific about this, and that is that people should not mix and match vaccines. So the only people who are eligible right now to get this booster vaccination are those people who meet eligibility and who had Pfizer as their first and second shot. Uh, we do not have a booster program for Moderna for J&J. &J. Moderna has already filed data and we expect that in the next few weeks, CDC and FDA will review that. We expect J&J &J will do the same thing. But for now, people who are eligible are only those who got the Pfizer vaccine. Got it. Those with eligibility and those who have received the Pfizer vaccine for anyone watching. And we know, as you mentioned, flu season coming up here now. How is Walgreens working to protect against that virus as well and kind of educate people who may have rested on their laurels during this time focusing on COVID? Well, look, let's take last year as an example. OK, last year we saw record numbers of people coming out to be vaccinated against the flu. Now, it's also true that people were practicing good hand hygiene. Uh, they were wearing masks and socially distancing. What we saw was that the flu season last year was pretty much flat. I have never seen that in more than 20 years of practice. I've never seen that. So we know that the flu, like COVID, is a preventable disease. And so when we do the basics, when we get vaccinated, and we do the basics around hand hygiene, social distancing, and masking, we can really eliminate a lot of pressure on the healthcare system, but most importantly, we can protect ourselves. Is there any concern about supply issues this winter as it coincides with flu season and supply issues, meaning of this booster, the availability, and also even flu shots? In the beginning of the COVID vaccine program, there in fact was a supply issue. We are no longer experiencing that. We feel like we have enough vaccine to offer 
people, the standard vaccination for COVID, and then the boost for Pfizer. Uh, as it pertains to the flu vaccine, we work very closely with the manufacturers to make sure that we get that number right. So we feel very confident that we will have enough supply to meet demand. Great. And doctor, another note about the booster vaccine. What is your advice for those who are hesitant in taking the booster shot? So this would be a third shot for those who are eligible and have received the Pfizer vaccine, especially as we know those who are eligible maybe have um, conditions that are extenuating circumstances and maybe worried about the reactions that they've seen in the first two doses of the shot, dealing some of those flu-like symptoms of coronavirus. Well, I've taken a really close look at this data, as have many other experts. And, and what becomes clear is that people who got the Pfizer vaccine who are beyond that six month mark, that's a really important point. You don't want to get this booster early, but once you've made it beyond that six month mark, for those specific populations that are eligible, I really would encourage that people get the booster shot. Um, if you're not eligible, uh, or you haven't meet, met that six month point, you know, I don't recommend you get it. You want to wait until it's appropriate. Dr. Kevin Ban, Chief Medical Officer at Walgreens, thank you so much for joining us and giving a little bit more clarity around the booster shots at Walgreens.